Good party. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So I'm about to make breakfast and we are just basically going with the flow today. I don't really know what we're doing, but here we are. Going to eat a lot of stuff we have in the fridge. We've been trying to clear out our fridge for the past week. I feel like it's a constant thing. It is a constant. We have, we're always having too much food because of our job. But so we just make a, a lot problem. of food and we have to try to eat it all before it goes bad. And that's our life challenge. So. Yeah. So for breakfast today, we're actually using up some leftover bacon from our Gordon Ramsay video. Remember how in the video, well, if you didn't watch it, you should go watch it. In the video, we pointed out that the recipe said to put the bacon in the fridge because it gets crispier. And that we're, made no we're like, sense what? to us. Definitely not crispier. No. <laughs> if anything, it's more flaccid. Flaccid. But we still have it, so we're just going to make use of it right now and eat it for breakfast. Before we continue with this video, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It's a great place to explore new skills, deepen your existing passions, or get lost in your creativity. The good thing about Skillshare is it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are never any ads, and they're always adding new premium courses as well. Jonathan Van Ness, or JVN, if you know who he is, you probably love him like I do. He came out with a course on Skillshare about self-care, and I'm currently watching this right now. I love it, and I would definitely recommend you check it out. Head to our description to find our link that will give the first 1,000 people to use this link a free one-month trial of Skillshare. So now let's get back into the video. I kind of forgot that I was putting the bacon in it for a second and I put a crap ton of truffle salt because I was really excited. So this might be really salty so is what you're saying. <laughs> and I put a bunch of other seasonings forgetting that the bacon was loaded. It might be really good. We'll see. It smells good. Wow. Delicious. Mm. You can't really go wrong. No, I'm not salty. Thank God. The bacon has a little spice to it. So I was a little nervous. But you can't really taste with it. everything, yeah. The bread and all, it kind of just mellows it out. This the really smokiness tasty. of this reminds me of carrot locks for some reason. Mm. Well, I mean, or just locks in general. Liquid smoke. Mm. That's what I mean. Good breakfast. We're gonna go shower up, get ready. We will look better in three, two, one. I don't know if I look that much better, but I showered. We both showered. We're so. feeling fresh now. We are doing some errands today. It's not really exciting. We're going to Ikea. Um, we are building, I guess we have a piece in the back we never took out of the car. We're build, building a... Um, like a shelf to store I think our like photo props and stuff It's technically a TV stand, but we're just using it as like a little storage area. Yeah, yeah we had one in our office and we we're getting another... That's exactly like it. We were at Ikea the other day and we needed to get these shelves and they didn't have them. So then I was like, okay, I'll order them online. And then they were ready like the day I ordered them. So I guess they had them there the whole time. So very confusing. I think that maybe they I hope you ordered restocked. the right ones. Yeah, we did. I got this, the ones that it said online. So I'm drinking an iced hojicha latte with oat milk and hojicha is like a roasted green tea. It is really delicious. Chris has nice coffee here as well. I guess because we're sharing what we ate today, so I'm gonna document what we it. drank. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll try it. I have a little lip gloss on. Sorry, it's no big deal. Say, tell us what you think it tastes like. Ooh. It tastes like, yeah, like a 
little like woodsy or matcha. It's good. Earthy. I like that. It's better than matcha for me, like regular matcha. Really? You don't like my latte? I'm not a big matcha guy. Are we about to get some meatballs? I'll be down. <laughs> we are making something fun today, so picking up some things. Also came across this. That's cool. I've never seen that. Endangered species. Our shopping adventure took a little longer than anticipated. Babe, can you close this again? I can't close this. But I got a package, open, open something juicy. for something juicy from Liquid IV, so. I'm excited. We're gonna see what it is. <gasps> wow, sip sip. What is this? Hydration oh. multiplier. Yellow cherry. Yellow cherry, not like black cherry, like not Rainier red cherry. cherry. Ooh, and it's their new um, bags. I think they're compostable. They feel different. Mm. Limited edition. All juice, no pit. Very and cool. And another water bottle. I think Love we have it. like, we have a very large collection of water bottles. But you know. You can never have enough. You never have enough. <laughs> Wanna try one? Yeah, I'll have one. Oh, smells like Skittles. Ooh. I like to do half of stick with 32 ounces of water. I know that's like completely wrong, but if I take the whole packet, it's just too sweet for me. So I usually just do half a stick. Are you gonna do the whole thing? I'm doing the whole thing. I'm going full. I do half a stick, and then I'll just save this and drink it later in the day. And um, that's how I roll. It smells good. Oh, I guess it would be this much water, which that would be crazy for me. That would be very strong. I'm excited to try it. Also, we got this new handy dandy tabletop tripod. I don't know if we ever shared it in our videos, but we used to put our camera on top of these big jars. We have ones over there. Oh, you can see our tripod is on it. It's like taped onto it. That's what we used to do. It's just a little inefficient and kind of dangerous. So um, we got a new tripod. Right, let's try this. My favorite liquid IV is the lemon, I think it's lemon ginger. It's the Energizer one. We usually just get it at Costco. It tastes like a Slurpee. Tastes really familiar. Is that a Skittle? That flavor is super familiar. Mm. Starburst. Starburst. Remember at the store? Yeah. I was looking at the Starburst and I was like, Starburst is so good. Tastes just like a cherry Starburst. Hmm. There you go. Um, all right, we are making lunch. I'm so hungry. We have to go to like five different stores to find the whole needed. thing, yeah. Very, I didn't put it all on camera because it was stressful. Barry wants to say hi. So we are actually heading out of town next week and I want to just try to clean out the fridge and the freezer as much as possible. And we also have friends that are gonna be staying here while we're gone. So we're trying to clean the house as much as possible as well. So it's been a little bit of a stressful week, but we're gonna be getting some of that stuff done today. And um, we're gonna be eating some stuff out of our fridge and freezer for lunch. I've been wanting to make our vegan Caesar, Caesar salad dressing for vegan Caesar. I can just say vegan Caesar. Vegan Caesar. Vegan Caesar for a while. Someone actually made it on Instagram and I was like, oh, we haven't made that in so long and it's so good. So we're going to be making that with um, some salad greens we have in the fridge. And we have then a bunch of vegan chicken in the freezer. We have so, so many different brands. We just have a collection at this point. And we have a bunch of frozen bread buns that we're going to try to make pizza. Pizza. So. Hopefully that was the plan we were talking about it in the car. I was like, pizza, Caesar salad, classic combo. So let's try of course. it out. Who doesn't eat pizza with Caesar salad? I feel like if you go to a pizza place, they I always have Caesar true. salad. Don't <laughs> laugh at me. <laughs> because we're already making some pizzas with bread, I didn't want to do bread croutons. I wanted to change things up. So I'm gonna actually be making some croutons out of chickpeas. This isn't a new thing, I feel like. This is like one of the first things I started making when I first went vegan, and it's still a staple. It is so good, and it's a great way for you to get in some beans. So I'm gonna cook some croutons. Chickpea croutons are super simple. I'm gonna add some chickpeas to a bowl, and then I'm adding in some oil. I'm gonna coat that up, and then season it with some garlic powder, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. Then I have some fresh parsley. You can really season these however you'd like. There's really no going wrong here. Just have some fun with it, and just season it based on your preference and what you have in home. Once that's all mixed up, I'm just transferring that to a lined baking sheet. I'm just gonna pop this into the oven until it's nice and crispy. For my Caesar dressing, I am making a cashew-based dressing. If you, one second. 
I just, oh, I dropped the top to the spice thing. I just wanted to make sure the dogs didn't get to it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the Caesar dressing, it's made with cashews, but if you want a nut-free option, I'll link a recipe down below. It's not our recipe, but it's a great alternative. Although there are a lot of amazing vegan dressings available at grocery stores now, homemade is always best. So if you can, or if you have the opportunity to, please try this out. So to my blender, I am going to add some cashews. You can soak these overnight, or you can just soak it in hot water for about 20 minutes. Then I have some nutritional yeast, a clove of fresh garlic, you could also use dried, some vegan Worcestershire, some Dijon mustard, capers, lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and some water to get it all to blend. To go along with our salads, we're also making some pizza. Instead of using actual crust, we're gonna be using our French bread pizza recipe. It'll be linked down below, it's on our blog, but instead of French bread, uh, we're using this vegan brioche. It's actually Kroger brand, it's accidentally vegan somehow, but thankfully it is because these buns are really good. So we have these extra large sandwich buns that we've had in the freezer. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the buns and defrost them and then lightly coat them with some oil, stick them in the oven for about five minutes, toast it up, and then we're just gonna add our sauce and cheese, pop them back in the oven until everything melts, and there we go, we have our pizza. The croutons are done. They're so good, I've actually been snagging on them, so a lot are gone already, but our salad is ready to assemble. For our salad, I'm adding in some lettuce and spinach, along with some vegan chicken and tomatoes. And then on the salad, I'm gonna add some croutons, and then I have my Caesar dressing. I feel like we started cooking like 10 hours ago. And now we are extremely hungry. I didn't realize that the croutons took as long as they did. It took 45 minutes, so we were waiting forever, but. Worth it. Mmm. The only thing about chicken croutons, you have to like scoop them up. That dressing is so good. What chicken is this? It's good. Hungry Planet. Planet. It got soggy, but I think it's just because it's in here, right? It was crispy before? Or? Crispy-ish. Mm. But yeah, if we ate it like fresh, it would be mm. more crispy. That's a big ass salad. And then we have our pizzas. That's good. Mm -hmm. What bun is this? A brioche? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, most brioche is not vegan because it has eggs and milk. However, for some reason, one of the Kroger brands, I think it's Private Selection, or Private Reserve, one of those. I'll put a photo on the screen of the actual bag. bag. But um, they have accidentally vegan brioche buns, and I've been buying them for a while now, and they're really, really good. So, a little, mm. little secret if you have we a Kroger store near them. Remember when we made that vegan Popeye's chicken sandwich? I think that's when mm -hmm. we discovered them. Oh yeah, it was on total accident. I was just looking at the ingredients, I was like, oh my god. What is this cheese? It's a little sticky. Good Planet. It's good, but it's a little sticky, right? Good Planet, Hungry Planet. A little sticky. Mm -hmm. What sticky good time. I'm photoshopping some photos for my friend. I don't know if y'all care. So he took photos of a bottle. Um, well, it's a product, but it's a glass bottle, and his apartment, it's like floor-to-ceiling windows all around, and they're on the corner, so I don't even know how many windows they have. It's a crazy. Lot. It's like a greenhouse in there. So the reflection on the bottle is just absolutely insane, so I'm trying to, like, combat that and make it less intense, because that's, like, the number one thing you focus on when you look at the photos, and the product should be the focus, so... I am trying to work my magic in Photoshop. I'm not great at Photoshop. She's doing a good job. But I'm not bad. making some snack bars so I am actually doing a collab with Wonder Year Organics and it's coming out I think it's coming out after this video so you'll see the vid the recipe now because I have been testing it and making it for Chris and I because it's so good so I'm making some s'mores chewy bars and these are inspired by the Quaker chewy bars I don't want to just do chocolate chip because I don't know I just wanted something a little more than that and we had some vegan marshmallows the other day so I tested it, it turned out so good 
So I'm gonna make it again. So at the store you saw, we picked up some vegan marshmallows. These are from Dandies. And we also got some mini chocolate chips from Enjoy Life. These are vegan. I love Enjoy Life stuff. And for, oh, also we got these. So the red box from Nabisco is actually vegan. It has no honey in it. And then I'm also using the sprouted brown rice crisps from One Degree Organics and the sprouted rolled oats and a few other things. Oh, let me show ya. We have some vegan honey, pure. So I'm gonna use this and it's gonna be delicious. There's a few other things that are go gonna go into it, but I'll just do a quick recipe demo with you right now. And they have to set for about two hours. So we'll probably end up eating them after dinner. Yeah, so let's just get started. Ikea assembly time. Here we go. Barry, you want to help me put it together? Yeah? Do you want to help? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! You do it! All right, here goes nothing. And there's Louie hiding as usual. <laughs> Hi, Lou. Okay, Chris, what's the update? The so dog, look behind you. We got the wrong unit. Look and... behind you. <laughs> We got the wrong unit, and basically we have to return it and get the right one, so no Ikea assembly. No Ikea assembly. assembly, I'm sad. I'm like happy that I don't have to assemble <laughs> it right now, and also annoyed I have to go return it. All right, so for dinner, dinner tonight, we're just having leftovers, nothing super exciting, but it's delicious regardless. So, oh, it's oh my hot. god. So yesterday we made pasta with our leftovers. So we sauteed some bell pepper, a cayenne pepper. Tomato, garlic, onions. Basil, what else do we have? Parsley. I think that was the it. Italian sofrito. And we had some leftover spaghetti, uh, so we just cooked that, added it in. And then for the sauce, we just have oil, and olive oil. Garlic olive juice, oil. Lemon juice and lemon zest. We like the wild groves oil. We talked about them before. Um, really good. Do we have any more for the garlic one? Oh, no, yeah, we, we just oh, have double garlic. We have double garlic. Yesterday I used the fresh garlic one, but this is the double, double garlic. And then I made these potatoes yesterday in the air fryer. Ooh, with this. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, these came out really, really good. And we, this is what we used for breakfast this morning, but the Spiceology salt-free spicy or spice blend, really good. Mm-hmm. The ranch one I think is our favorite, right? Yeah, so I use that. I use that double garlic olive oil and then the ranch seasoning, a little bit of salt and pep. Mm. Mix it up in a bowl, air fry it for like 15, 20 minutes. Perfect. Soft, crispy. Mm. Oh, parm on our pasta. I almost forgot. A little spicy. Well, I know, I put too much. It's like a little hard for me to eat. Because I put too much spice in it. This is very spicy, at least for Jasmine's taste buds. What are y'all up to? When you watch our videos, are you? Yeah, what do you do? We know Destiny washes dishes. <laughs> Love that. Shout out Destiny, if you're watching. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be in an upcoming video. We're gonna be doing, I'm just gonna spoil it that Spoiler. Time. We're gonna be doing um, eating only Puerto Rican food for a day in, I think it's in September it's coming out. And we have Destiny and a few others in it. I'm so excited. The food looks so good. And believe it or not, I am actually Puerto Rican. So, Which has Puerto Rican blood. I have Puerto Rican blood. It's weird because in my DNA test, it says additional communities Puerto Rico, but there's no actual. I can. It probably tracks your family living living there. Yeah. So my grandmother's name is Gladys Rodriguez, and her family came from Puerto Rico. Uh, Gotta reconnect with your roots, man. Yeah. And I, I don't. I haven't had much Puerto Rican food, so I'm excited for that. Video. This is good. I 
I didn't think I was hungry, but here I am. Mm -hmm. It's really burning my mouth. And I'm very excited for dessert tonight, mm. I gotta say. Yeah. Also, we asked on Instagram if you all have New York, vegan and New York recommendations or just things to do. Um, but if you don't follow us on Instagram and you have recommendations, please leave them down below. We're planning a trip next month, so I'm seeing some family. My cousin's getting married. Next month? It's like next week. But it's, te I guess it's next week, but it's technically next month. I guess that's true. But like two weeks from now. But it's next month. <laughs> um, so we're going to actually fly out two days early before all the family stuff so that we can just explore the city. Because we do go to the East Coast quite frequently, but we usually just stay in New Jersey. Or if we do go to New York, we usually just stay there for a day. And we don't really do much exploring. So. Yeah, I feel like it's just day trips. I'm so. excited. excited. I don't think I've ever excited. had like an overnight in Manhattan like as a tourist. So. Oh my god, are we going to go on the top of the rock? We're actually really close to the Empire State. <laughs> I know that's not the rock, but... What's the rock? Huh? Rockefeller Center. Uh. I don't know what the top of the rock is, though. Looks like you go up there and it's a view. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess so. No, like, I think you can pay to go up there. You know, you can pay to go to the Empire State Building. I swear you can pay to go to the top of the rock. I feel like I did that once. Maybe. That's like a phrase, like the top of the rock. Are we going to the top of the rock? <laughs> no. Are we going to go see the Statue of Liberty on the ferry? No. Is that, that a ferry? I don't know. Yeah. I, I did that in fourth grade or third grade. And we had to learn this poem. I remember. You had to learn the poem in order to be able to go, right? Yeah, and then we got a little eraser of the Statue of Liberty if we said the poem there. Everyone had to recite it. It was awful. Oh, <laughs> Louie! The boys want our snack. The camera's a little close, but this is the best I got right now. <laughs> we have some s'mores bars. bars for dessert. These are like chewy I bars. I didn't. Can you? <laughs> I'm using my toe. <laughs> I'm using my toe to focus in. <laughs> oh my god. They're so good. So I have in it chunks of vegan marshmallows. Mini mm. chocolate chips. Oh my god. Huh? That is delicious. It's pretty much like a Rice Krispie treat, but more. Very yeah, but it good. has oats in it. Mm -hmm. It's good. We got our audience right here. We have our beggars. We will die if you eat this boy. Louis just gave up. Hi, Louis. Hi. Look at those ears, baby. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. See you soon.